This is the Cambridge English first listening test, test two. I'm going to give you the instructions for this test. I'll introduce each part of the test and give you time to look at the questions. At the start of each piece, you will hear this sound. You'll hear each piece twice. Remember, while you're listening, write your answers on the question paper. You'll have five minutes at the end of the test to copy your answers onto the separate answer sheet. There will now be a pause. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now open your question paper and look at part one. You'll hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions one to eight, choose the best answer. A, B, or C. Question one. You hear a man talking about collecting old coins. My dad used to collect rare old coins, and when I was younger, I thought that was a really weird thing to do. But as I've got older, I can see the attraction. Someone once bought a loaf of bread or some cheese with those coins, and for me, that's brilliant. I don't buy online much, because you never know what you're getting, and there are a lot of fakes out there. I go to a specialist coin shop and chat to the guys there. They know everything there is to know about coins. I've got a few gaps in my collection, but that's fine. I'm not one for perfection. My dad used to collect rare old coins, and when I was younger, I thought that was a really weird thing to do. But as I've got older, I can see the attraction. Someone once bought a loaf of bread or some cheese with those coins, and for me, that's brilliant. I don't buy online much, because you never know what you're getting, and there are a lot of fakes out there. I go to a specialist coin shop and chat to the guys there. They know everything there is to know about coins. I've got a few gaps in my collection, but that's fine. I'm not one for perfection. Question two. You hear a woman talking about playing the piano. People ask me about playing the piano and if it's a difficult instrument to learn, and the answer is yes and no. At the beginning, anyone can make a sound on the piano just by pressing a single note, and it sounds pretty good. The equivalent could not be said about learning the violin, however. But to progress further, you have to have patience and some musical ability. It's best to learn from someone who knows and is good at teaching the technique needed. And obviously, there's no escaping from the fact that you have to practice every day without fail. That way, you'll come on quite quickly. People ask me about playing the piano and if it's a difficult instrument to learn, and the answer is yes and no. At the beginning, anyone can make a sound on the piano just by pressing a single note, and it sounds pretty good. The equivalent could not be said about learning the violin, however. But to progress further, you have to have patience and some musical ability. It's best to learn from someone who knows and is good at teaching the technique needed. And obviously, there's no escaping from the fact that you have to practice every day without fail. That way, you'll come on quite quickly. Question 3. You overhear a man and a woman talking in an art gallery about a boy's paintings. It's hard to believe the artist's only seven years old. Look at the perspective in this one. He's got it just right. It takes art students years to master that. A child couldn't have painted these. I reckon it's all a fake. The gallery's passing off the paintings of someone much older as the work of a child to trick people into buying. I mean, the way he's got the effect of the light on the water, that's the work of a much more experienced artist. I saw a TV program about him. He really does do them himself. And people must think they're worth the price. They're sold out. 
It's hard to believe the artist's only seven years old. Look at the perspective in this one. He's got it just right. It takes art students years to master that. A child couldn't have painted these. I reckon it's all a fake. The gallery's passing off the paintings of someone much older as the work of a child to trick people into buying. I mean, the way he's got the effect of the light on the water, that's the work of a much more experienced artist. I saw a TV program about him. He really does do them himself. And people must think they're worth the price. They're sold out. Question 4. You hear two students talking about a university chemistry lecturer. Hi, Mike. That was another good chemistry lecture by Jane Wilson, wasn't it? Yeah, I like her. I can't always follow what she's saying, though. Oh, I think she makes complicated ideas easier to understand. And she's so good at communicating her own excitement about chemistry. We all end up sharing it. There's no denying that. And she's OK about things like getting work in a few days after a deadline, which is nice. That hasn't been everyone's experience, I must say. But then I can see why, really. Her schedule's so packed, I'm amazed she has time to do all she does. Yeah, that's true. Hi, Mike. That was another good chemistry lecture by Jane Wilson, wasn't it? Yeah, I like her. I can't always follow what she's saying, though. Oh, I think she makes complicated ideas easier to understand. And she's so good at communicating her own excitement about chemistry. We all end up sharing it. There's no denying that. And she's OK about things like getting work in a few days after a deadline, which is nice. That hasn't been everyone's experience, I must say. But then I can see why, really. Her schedule's so packed, I'm amazed she has time to do all she does. Yeah, that's true. Question 5. You hear a woman talking to a work colleague about moving abroad for a new job. Two years living away is a long time. Yes, but I don't have to worry about whether I can return to my old position. That's guaranteed. Anyway, I'm 24 now and opportunities like this aren't common. Especially to oversee new project developments. Yes. I mean, I was doing that already, in a way, so I'm not sure I can think of it as a promotion. The only thing is, I tried to negotiate a delay to the contract so I'd have a bit more time to get myself together, but it couldn't be done. I felt I didn't have any say in the matter. Oh well, don't let that get in the way. Two years living away is a long time. Yes, but I don't have to worry about whether I can return to my old position. That's guaranteed. Anyway, I'm 24 now and opportunities like this aren't common. Especially to oversee new project developments. Yes. I mean, I was doing that already, in a way, so I'm not sure I can think of it as a promotion. The only thing is, I tried to negotiate a delay to the contract so I'd have a bit more time to get myself together, but it couldn't be done. I felt I didn't have any say in the matter. Oh well, don't let that get in the way. Question 6. You hear two friends talking about a job interview. Hi Noel. how did the job interview go? Quite well actually, though I knew it would be alright. Really? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm usually nervous about job interviews, and there were three of them asking me questions. But this time, I felt very well prepared, and I've got the right kind of experience for the job, so that gave me confidence, I suppose. Were there any questions you couldn't answer? Not really, though some were pretty hard. Luckily, I'd done plenty of research beforehand. Clearly, they hadn't expected me to be able to answer them all, so that was good. Well, I hope you get it. Thanks. Hi, Noel. How did the job interview go? Quite well, actually, though I knew it would be all right. Really? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm usually nervous about job interviews, and there were three of them asking me questions. But this time, I felt very well prepared, and I've got the right kind of experience for the job, so that gave me confidence, I suppose. Were there any questions you couldn't answer? Not really, though some were pretty hard. Luckily, I'd done plenty of research beforehand. 
Clearly they hadn't expected me to be able to answer them all, so that was good. Well, I hope you get it. Thanks. Question 7. You hear part of a radio programme. I think lots of people will be interested in finding out more about it. It's a great way of seeing all the plants and trees that thrive in this area, and in spring it's spectacular. Teachers who want to encourage their students to protect the environment should take them. After all, there's nothing like experiencing something for yourself to make you value it. We've made sure it's as accessible as possible and hope it'll be popular with people of all ages. If you want more information, the details are all online. There's no excuse not to get out there and try it. I think lots of people will be interested in finding out more about it. It's a great way of seeing all the plants and trees that thrive in this area, and in spring it's spectacular. Teachers who want to encourage their students to protect the environment should take them. After all, there's nothing like experiencing something for yourself to make you value it. We've made sure it's as accessible as possible, and hope it'll be popular with people of all ages. If you want more information, the details are all online. There's no excuse not to get out there and try it. Question 8. You hear a woman talking to her brother about his hair. It doesn't look too bad, actually. You're joking. No way. I mean it. I think you should have taken a lot more off, especially at the front. Well, maybe you should get a hairdresser to do it instead. Though, I think I did pretty well, really. Don't you think you're overreacting a bit? I don't want all my friends to laugh at me. They won't. Anyway, you shouldn't have it cut too often, even by me. It suits you like this. And it'll look even better in a couple of weeks. Well, I suppose I should trust you. Of course you should. I'm your sister. It doesn't look too bad, actually. You're joking. No way. I mean it. I think you should have taken a lot more off, especially at the front. Well, maybe you should get a hairdresser to do it instead. Though, I think I did pretty well, really. Don't you think you're overreacting a bit? I don't want all my friends to laugh at me. They won't. Anyway, you shouldn't have it cut too often, even by me. It suits you like this. And it'll look even better in a couple of weeks. Well, I suppose I should trust you. Of course you should. I'm your sister. That's the end of part one. Now turn to part two.